Yet again, I'm here, your host in today's video presentation. Luando Franklin is my name. I'm the lead tutor, the chief executive officer, the pioneer of FCO Account Institution Center. Today's video presentation is applicable to students studying CA 3.1 and Strategic Business Reporting under SCCA. I just want to encourage our viewers to ensure that they ask questions in the chat box and all the questions raised will be attended to depending on the availability of time. And also I want to encourage our viewers to make comments in the comment section about this video the comments will be taken very, very seriously and will be used to improve our lecture delivery. In today's video, we are going to look at how to calculate goodwill in the overseas subsidiary. The goodwill in the overseas subsidiary is first calculated in the overseas currency and then translated into the functional currency of the parent for consolidation. The exchange difference on goodwill is calculated for the current year, and that exchange difference is recognized in the other comprehensive income and this will remain here permanently until the parent sells the subsidiary and control is lost. Then it will be recycled to PNL. So now let's look at this question together. And we shall answer it together. We have, you work for Samlo Chartered Accountants as one of the firm's financial consultants. Your clients have approached you for advice on the accounting treatment of the following transactions in their respective financial statements for the year to 31st May 2019 in accordance with applicable accounting standards. Client number one, Kappa PLOC. Kappa PLOC acquired 60% equity interest in Bama PLC on 1 June 2018 for a cash consideration of 252,000 quarter. The fair value of Bama PLC's identifiable net assets was USA $40,000. Kappa PLC uses non, Kappa PLC values non-controlling interest based on their proportionate share of the fair value of the subsidiary's identifiable net assets. This simply means here there is partial goodwill. The following exchange rates are relevant. One USA dollar to quacha. So if you have the dollar, you want to convert to quacha, you multiply. If you have the quarter you want to convert to dollar, you divide. United States dollar is the functional currency of Bama PLOC. Goodwin Bama PLOC has not been impaired. The directors of Kappa PLOC need advice on how they should deal with goodwill arising from the acquisition of Bama PLOC in their group financial statements for the year ended at 1 May 2019. So now let's calculate the goodwill in the currency of the overseas subsidiary. So we have the goodwill. So consideration, the consideration is in quarter. So we have to convert it to dollar. 
So this is 252,000 to convert to dollar, you divide by 10 quarter. And this will give us 25, 25, 200. This is in dollar. NCI proportionate. The NCI there is 40,000 USA dollars. Multiply by the 40% because the controlling interest is 60. And therefore the balance is non-controlling. This becomes 16,000. Total consideration for 2,200. And then we go to the net assets. The net assets there was 40. Net assets at acquisition. It's 40,000. The goodwill. In dollar, it is 1,000. So now, at acquisition, what was the exchange rate? Multiply by 10. This is 12,000. At reporting, at reporting, this will be 12. At reporting, we have 970. This will give us 11,640. So the goodwill has reduced in value and there is exchange loss. The exchange loss is 360. Now the amount to be recognized under OCI will be loss 360. The amount to be recognized in the statement of financial position as good goodwill will be the one at the reporting date, which will be 11,640. So we have answered this question together and we'll end here. On behalf of FCL Account Institution Center, I wish to Thank all those who have been supporting us from inception to now. We say thank you and God bless you beyond measure.